I pushed the wrong button. Hello, everyone. Face of here. Welcome to some more quarantine. We got the team here. A little bit of an update. Um, I don't even know how to phrase this. Um, Sloth that was playing Zozo uh, is going to be stepping away for a bit, which is totally fine. We have an open table here. Uh, we totally support her, but we don't know if when she'll come back. Um, she's always welcome to. We would love to have her back if uh, she decides to. Uh, but for now, we're supporting her in her decision and uh, what she needs to do. So um, everyone's giving their love and their good energies her way uh, for things that she needs to take care of. But um, I don't know. Uh, we're coming in kind of hot. We were going to play some games and then everyone got here and then we're good. And now we're good. So uh, how's everyone feeling? It's been a few weeks. Doing good. Doing good. <laughs> been missing y'all up in here. Yeah, it has been a while, like a couple weeks. Oh no! We just we, we lost we lost pancake. We keep losing pancake, and uh, the night. Look, I'm a Moira now. Uh, <laughs> you become me. Ah, oh, I'm Druid Shape Shift. Okay. I got p perfect polymorph, although not so perfect. <laughs> All right, uh, <laughs> there we go. I guess we'll uh, let's do a quick recap. Um, that we did. Uh, so. You guys did manage to take down uh, the uh, the necromancer that was in charge of this whole thing, uh, Zelver. Um, after you did, you know, like some energy burst out of his chest, and uh, he turned kind of like a, a charred corpse, and then crumbled to the ground, all lifeless. Um, <laughs> sounds fine. And uh, so you guys are now sitting in uh, the Soul Cairn. Um, there is a uh, Uh, sorry, uh, you're, you're you're standing in the cell, Karen. Um, Zozo is kind of jacked up. Uh, she was taking a, a lot of damage um, through the last turn. I think actually a lot of you guys took some significant damage uh, with that fight. Um, yeah. But the uh, the necromancer has been downed, and uh, we are able to go on beyond that. I guess I'm gonna get some tunes so we can. Oh. Are we taking a rest before we try to head back to the town? Hancock, you're typing in crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. You're fine. Do you have a cat running across your keyboard? No, I'm trying to carry mac and cheese at the same time. Oh, nice. Oh, I want some mac and cheese. <laughs> um, So that's your guys' decision on what you do. I mean, probably wise. Uh, yeah, because I'm out of spell slots. For sure. Well, um, I guess some update that I did to kind of say last time is uh, once you once uh, Zelver fell, it did look like any of his uh, creations and stuff kind of crumbled um, into nothing. Uh, so I guess it could be considered that you might be safe. You know? Deep in this cavern, but uh, there is always a risk that something could be here. So, how you guys? Well, um, couldn't the elves? Because we don't sleep, we meditate, so we, we're still technically aware of what's going on around us mm -hmm. whilst we rest. So we could keep guard whilst the others actually sleep and wake them up if anything coming. And we have dark vision as well, so we can see sixty feet in the dark. So we should be good. Sure. You guys uh, want to do that? Oh shit, I forgot to launch that thing. Turn that on so we can see all our stats. Hi, Dougie. Um, so you guys want to take a rest? Yes. Yes. A uh, long rest or short rest? Probably wise to do a long rest so that way yeah. everyone is well rested. Yeah, I'm ready to go. All right. Blame. All right. After uh, eight hours of hanging out in the the Soul Cairn area, still kind of a, a spooky, cold, dark, damp cave. Um, you you do manage to rest up effectively, uh, restoring some your hit points. Uh, do not get any strange surprises or anything. 
uh, pu- busting out of the walls, but you are uh, at the bottom of this, I don't know, cave pit. Uh, how do you proceed? <laughs> Actually, we could RP that a little bit if you want. Um, how, you guys bandage up. Do you uh, do anything besides just taking a long rest? Discuss anything? Um, I'm not going to just pass time on you guys. Yep, that might have been saved. What'd you say? I was going to say, can I recover any arrows that might still be intact? Um, sure, you can re- You can recover uh, two or three times. Yeah, like four arrows. Sweet. <clears throat> It's not cave map. What was the name of the the other Volcano map? Shrine. Yep. Ah, okay, that's why. There it is. Cool. Thank you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> hmm. The question is, would it be worth it to even look around to see if there's anything that we could possibly get? I mean, this is a big, wide open area, correct? Yeah, it's a a giant, you know, hole in the cave. So we're, we're at the edge of a hole. Well, so you remember you had to go up like 20 feet or whatever, and then there was a big like crater area that he was in. Uh, you guys are like on the stairs, technically. Yeah, but you're you're deeper into the cave. You got to go bike like back up those stairs and do this corkscrew thingy if you just want to leave. I mean, there's no reason to stay. I don't think. That is true. Plus, we need to see if that storm decided to die down because we killed the necromancer. That sounds smart. True. Yeah, I think we should just leave then. Okay, um, we'll just do a slight time skip so you don't guys have to don't have to run it uh, through the map. But uh, you guys make it back up the uh, the stairs area. Um, you come across the if you remember that that wall of skeleton guards uh, that were standing there. Um, they all have fallen into a pile of bones, uh, so we were able to walk by them without a problem. Um, as you approach uh, the the cave entrance, uh, actually. Who has the perception? Here you go. Ah, uh, holy crap. Zozo has an insane perception. Okay. Uh, Zozo will notice um, that as you guys are coming to the cave entrance, uh, she she kind of starts plucking at her, uh, her loot to try to get some attention and she's starting to, to point at the the room the first room that you guys encountered that when you took the left path uh there seems to be a an interesting glow uh coming from that area hmm. <clears throat> a glow you say mm-hmm. i would like to approach the glow okay um you notice that uh a couple of the the jars that were in that area um, have uh, become broken. That doesn't sound right. Hmm. <clears throat> and I'm trying to remember what we revealed for the first time we went there. Um, I think. Yeah, I'm trying to remember a lot of stuff I think as well. Echo. Well. Since I didn't make it a- Oh, we got a, we got one of the scrolls. Yeah, you got one of the scrolls here. I believe Echo was able to uh, determine that there was some sort of magic uh, with the jars. Uh, they seem to be like a, a containment magic. And those are the jars that are not broken. Well, yeah, the, j- not good. the jars that are not broken uh, have uh, some sort of a uh, magic field uh, presence about them. Can I touch it? Touch the jar? You just you kind of reach out and well, how do you, how do you touch it? Do you just kind of boop or do you like grab it? I just grab it. Okay. Yeah, I just grab it. Okay. Yeah, 
grab it. You, you just <laughs> grab one. Uh, yeah. Yeah, you grab one. It just it's like a, a nice clay pot. It just doesn't feel. It's actually feels a little lighter than normal. Um, you li- notice that there, there's some a little uh, clay dust that gets on your hand, but it doesn't seem out of the ordinary. Besides having this little bit of a, a magic radiance to it. I think I'm going to keep this. You're going to keep it, okay? <laughs> You're going to keep the soul jar. All right. Um, oh, that's okay. We might as well just take it all. Well, there's like sixty I, I jars. Go up, I go up to it. Oh well. How many of them are actually glowing? Uh, all the ones that are not broken, except for like four or five, are not broke or not glowing. Mm. Or all of them are glowing, except for like four or five. Can we open them? Um, are they sort of jars as if they got like a lid on, or are they jars like they're like sealed? Yeah, they're they're sealed. They're sealed. Oh, okay. Can I take um, three? <clears throat> what'd you say, Pancake? They might be good. Can we take three? That way, it might be good to bargain with our friendly goblin friend. Uh, the rare item. Sure, you you could take them, but you don't. Do you know what they are? You know they are uh, no, jars filled with souls. <laughs> <clears throat> and souls are good for bargaining. The whole got the actual yeah. devil over <laughs> here. Uh, I mean, we've all played dark souls. Let's be fair. <laughs> like, I mean, I would, I would sell my soul too. So, I mean, I want to <laughs> play with them. So. <laughs> Uh, so uh, you said you were gonna play them. Are, are you are you kind of like just tossing them in your hands? What are you doing? No, 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 no. I'm saying in the future. Oh. I might I might want to play with them a little bit. Okay. Does uh? I think my, my you you take three way. soul jars. Mm. Pancake. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Vasha has one in her hand. Pancake's just like, all right, cool, free shopping spree. <laughs> See, Luchu's never had any luck with this sort of thing, so he's not going to pick anything up. You okay. know. <laughs> uh, no. Actually, Pancake, roll a... What? Roll a slight hand check. It'll be in your, uh, skills page. <clears throat> yeah, give me a second. Ooh. Oh, no. Yeah. Oh. Uh, okay. Um, so as you're reaching oh, up, that's you're, you're just kind of reaching up to <clears throat> grab some jars, uh, just willy-nilly, not really, you know, paying attention all that much. But, uh, as you grab and pull down one, you kind of nick one uh, with your elbow and it, it falls off and uh, falls to the ground and shatters and uh, after a couple minutes you, you notice the uh, the inside of the the, the jar kind of has like an, a glowing bluish green ectoplasm uh, lining the jar walls but as, as soon as the jar kind of broke it kind of dissipates for a second and then reforms and flies out. Interrupting. <clears throat> Try to be more careful, please. <laughs> well, I'm debating on where that soul went to. Huh. What did we just unleash is the question. <laughs> <laughs> so I was thinking, I was like, hmm. <laughs> Lushu, that's what I was exactly trying not to do. <laughs> I'm doing the thing that the rogue would have done, but didn't do, so... <laughs> uh, but it looks like so that, think, it think looks like the soul that was in there has been freed. <laughs> now the question is, do we want to trap the rest of the bull? Because <laughs> you said there's like, what, 60 of them? Yeah. So is it like one soul per, or is it multiples? You don't know yet. Um, after uh, you knock that jar down, you you see uh you see Kyrian. He's kind of like meow. 
he's all interested. He thinks it's a toy. So him being a cat starts <laughs> knocking him off the shelves. Oh, no. Four. Oh, no. oh. Five. <laughs> six. Oh, my gosh. Seven. Oh, my God. Eight. Do you want to pick your cat up, maybe? Whoa, 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 Nine. Stop cat, please? <laughs> Ten. Can you tell him to stop, please? Eleven. <laughs> Twelve. Okay, Thirteen. Good. You can stop. <laughs> Fourteen. So he just knocked off 14 <laughs> of the <laughs> the jars. I you can stop. <laughs> 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 no. um, but with each one, it seems uh, they all behave the same way, and kind of a, a wisp of ectoplasmic smoke kind of whoosh, and gently floats away. Some of them kind of like swirl around you and um, kind of like do a dance around you and just kind of dis off, disappear <laughs> off into the cave. They go through the walls, all sorts of things. So... In that case, I released Tyrion to continue what he was doing. <laughs> he just... Um, um, and I also just take out my... <laughs> uh, okay. I, I'm just gonna... Vasha, your face right now is I'm killing me. <laughs> the town, right? <laughs> didn't, didn't the people... There was people asleep in the town, right? Um... They, they weren't a, asleep, but many of them kind of went missing. And that was the problem that was going on. Is uh, there were some weirdnesses going on, and people were getting abducted and disappearing. But uh, so once uh, Kyrian gets the go ahead, he kind of, oh, yeah, it kind of goes into play mode and just starts running through them, just destroying them. Uh, it takes him, you know, forty seconds, and uh, all these jars, you're just littered with clay jar pieces all around your guys' bodies. And, uh, <laughs> all, it's, all the souls have been now released. You had to touch it, huh? I'm not kidding, so. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, technically, if you something are holding one, happens because you of You have one in your hand. <laughs> if something bad happens because of this, I'm going to leave you. I'm going to leave you. <laughs> fair enough, fair enough. Okay, uh, so yeah, all the, the jars have now been smashed into this room. Kyrian looks very pleased with himself. <laughs> I roll my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and with that done, I feel like we can go back to town. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> okay. Hopefully we have we destroyed them. everything in we this got room. Back, there's just like a huge like tornado of souls circling the, the town. Uh, how many did I say? You? <laughs> get back there. Oh, I said oh. there was like 60 and only like four or five were not broken. All right. Yep. And I took one. Oh yeah, that's right. And you have three in your pack. Yes, okay. I do. So put that in your inventory. <laughs> if uh, you took a soul jar. Um, okay. And all right. Odd. So we'll say fifty. Mm -hmm. Um. Okay. So you guys make your way uh, back out to the. Oh, so, go ahead. No, just oh my goodness, I'm oh. worried about this <laughs> now. I don't know. Uh, you guys make your way to uh, the the cave entrance. Um. Cookie time. Oh, I forgot there was some. <laughs> there's an, there was an alert that uh has not been silenced. Whoops. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I alerted all the other ones. What's going on, Yuri? Um, anyway, so you make your way to the cave entrance, um, and as you, you you walk out, you uh, you exit to a, a beautiful star-filled sky. Uh, the wind is gentle, um, and it's cooling after your ordeals in the cavern. Uh, the air is fresh. It's no more musty cavern or stench of decay. Um, so it's kind of a, a nice little respite. <laughs> Yeah, Vasha's real feeling it, being a nature cleric, getting out of that garbage. Yes. <laughs> um, so, uh, you guys are outside of the thing. You said you wanted to make your way back to the town? Okay. Yes. 
Um, yeah. Okay, so you start making your way back to the woods uh, for about half an hour uh, to the point where you first made your camp and you interacted or had a the interaction with the storm. Um, any sort of the uh, belongings that you may have left there, I don't think any of you guys did. Um, I think you spent the time to pick them all up, but you could, you know, gather them up um, and uh, storm back in your pack. Um, you, you could bunker down here for the night if you want, or you can continue on to uh, the town. Although you did just sleep like eight hours. Yeah. What time is it now in game? It's it's like uh, probably one or two in the morning. It's it's dark. It's got a big old st whole sky full of stars. <clears throat> okay. How far away is the town? Sorry. The elves have dark vision. Yes, they do. Oh, uh, up to sixty feet. Yeah. Yeah, the town. Um. I, I, how long did it take you guys? It took like half a day to get from the camp to the town. Well, um, I guess uh, the elves should lead the way. Uh, I'm it's fine me and... knife. I think everyone in the party has dark vision, do really. uh, Except for Zozo. Yeah. yeah, I was about to say apart from Zozo. Um, <clears throat> Heckin' elves. And I mean, literally, <laughs> Put her on our back. Yeah, it's carrier. It's fine. Uh, uh. <laughs> okay. I mean, she's little enough. Well, that's the yeah, we can put our carrier. Tool. What? Okay. Yeah, turn turn into a bear. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. So, we'll, what we'll say is, uh, since you are traveling through some forest, uh, Pancake, your natural explorer uh, trait comes into effect, so uh, your team can move faster. Um. Zozo moves a little bit slower because she's got them little legs, but we're it's going to get balanced out. You guys will make good time uh, yeah. through the forest because of it. Um, also, the, the storm is gone. Um, you can already see with the the disappearance of the necromancers and uh, the negative and necrotic energy that's just around the area that uh, nature is already beginning to heal. It's already... Uh, you can see some fresh... Uh, Foliage and uh, some fauna has already begun to return to the area, um, so it's kind of it's it's a night you you can see immediate effects from uh, taking care of this ordeal. Um, so you guys travel for about a half a day. Um, it's about you know getting to be about two p.m. mid noon kind of thing. Um, you start returning or you, Honeywell. That's the name of the town. You return to Honeywell. Um, a pop, but oh we need to we need different tunes and not cave tunes um it's very ominous yeah that you're out of the tunes or the tunes the mysterious yeah you're out of the uh the caves now you don't need more cave stuff let's do try this see if this works That'll work. Um, so you guys uh, come into Honeywell, but upon returning to Honeywell, you're met with a, a gruesome sight. Oh, no. oh God. <clears throat> People lay dead in the streets. Uh, their eyes are burnt out. Oh. On one of the walls of the a house nearest to the direction you guys came, uh, there's Thomas, the, the innkeeper. His uh, body is slumped against the wood frame, and he has one arm. It's pointed, and it's pinned with a large war axe, pointing to a mis message written in blood, which reads, You have taken me from, from me, a trusted vassal, or a vassal. I am the underling, and I will have my revenge. <coughs> Ah, I didn't do it. <laughs> That's what you're worried about? It's like, ah, oh, shit, I did a thing. <laughs> That's what I was worried about. I was like, oh, shit, I just killed everyone. Wait, it wasn't me. Yes, thank goodness. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but, oh, no, our friend, Thomas. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> you guys do anything? So, is he, is, is he completely Can dead? Can I, like, lift up gone. his head to check if he's, like... 
if his eyes are like burnt out, if he's dead, can I like sure like like lift his head up? Vasha kind of <laughs> seeing the sight, kind of takes upon herself to march on over and uh, grabs him by the head and lifts him up, <laughs> and his jaw kind of. Oh. Falls oh. slack, and yeah, his eyes are definitely burned out. Um, as you kind of, as you were walking up the the steps to the inn, uh, one of the the bo- floorboards uh, was a little loose uh, from the destruction that kind of happened, and uh, as you stepped on it, you know, kind of lifts, and that little ball from that little boy that you met earlier comes rolling out, and it stops at your feet. And there's a big charred area. You can't see into the... And it's dark. <clears throat> well, I guess you could. You're you're an elf. You, you could look into it. I'm just gonna, like, pick up the ball and look down at it. Very somber. Okay. Yeah, it's, uh... It's kind of, it's definitely charred on one side. Is is there any living thing near? Do they even go all the livestock? And like, what? Dogs that might have been around? Yeah, uh, it seems like everything is, uh, everything in this town and, uh, around is, is dead. <laughs> um, can we do some investigation? To get to see if there's more insight into this underling person um so you have a uh, what's it called you, you got some information from uh the cave and the books and stuff that were written uh you found out that uh the necromancer that you had been fighting is uh is serving the underling obviously um but is According to, or if, if you're looking around the town, there's nothing uh, that stands out that will, you know, give you immediate information about this underling. Uh, you just know that uh, you you royally pissed him off. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, you tend to piss a lot of people off. Have you guys noticed this? <laughs> you specifically, they think that you're the pervert. You you had more one people guy. try to kill that. One guy. One guy. One guy. One guy. One guy. He's like, let me clarify. More than just a goblin. Every time you try to pickpocket somebody, and you fail the fur, and you fail the the save. <laughs> DM makes a story. I just make the roll. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Blame the DM. Um, okay, so. <laughs> there's nothing more that we can infer from here um <clears throat> I say we do a good thing and bury the dead and then try to sort through stuff in town to see what all we can take to help us on our next journey can I start searching some of the corpses we're really gonna well, do this. I'm assuming that we're searching I'm them like, as we're them. Yeah, like, yeah. Sure. What are you looking for? They, they, they're gonna use it. Um, like maybe gold or maybe notes. Actually, maybe notes. Maybe someone had some information and they wrote it down, just kept it on their body. Maybe you never know. I'm, I'm fishing here. Um, but know, just anything, anything of use. Like maybe health potions, uh, rations, anything like that. Sure. Um. Yeah. More, more arrows. I guess, uh, how, how long, um, how long do you guys want to spend, you know, searching the town for things? Well, it should be about, what, 3 p.m. What? now? Yeah. Right? 3 p.m. Say, like, four hours? You want to spend four hours tossing the town? Well, I mean, it's a, it's a small town. It, it's small. There's, like, a dozen houses. Okay, and there's one, two, three, four people. There's like so, 30 like, total eight, people maybe that live here. Each one of two us hours for, for a search. So you're, you're going to go hard and, and toss in the area, huh? Yeah. 
Because each, each person will get like you're you know, going full so Skyrim, houses, like checking every drawer. Say. Yeah. <laughs> checking every cupboard. <laughs> They're not gonna need it. Exactly. I mean. Wow. Can go to better use. Yeah. I am not going to partake in this. Yeah, I'm. That's, I'm gonna that's, do something that's, that's not stealing from dead bodies. <laughs> Here's the chaotic neutrals, and then the, the good <laughs> neutral goods, <laughs> lawful goods. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, help us. Well, I mean, that mean that uh, that mean Pangog would have uh, an hour each to search eight houses each. Sure. No, no, no. Six houses each because it was twelve. Sure. So, yes. I I think, yeah, I, I think. I think. What two hours? It should be enough. Yeah, two hours. An hour yeah, each hours. on six houses each. I think that should be enough time to. Search okay. For goodies. Uh, before you guys do that, uh, Echo and oh, Vasha, what do you guys want to do? Or not Echo? Sorry, Eva. Also, I should so figure are, out. Are we gonna bury them, or are we just yeah. gonna? Yeah, I was gonna say probably bury bodies. Yeah, probably just start digging. Yeah, if there's like thirty people, you, you that could definitely take you two hours. Um, yeah. I mean, she is a bear. Yep. Yeah. Only sometimes I can't. I I don't have opposable thumbs when I'm a bear. Am I supposed to... <laughs> you can, I'm not, I'm you can to totally turn you into something with you dig speed. <laughs> you can use your claw to dig. Oh my god. Fucking <laughs> Eva's over here, just a utility, just a I giant really utility. Am a utility bear. Yep. Um. What, okay. But what would have dig speed? I'm. So you'd have to go look at your. DM this question. You'd have to go look at the uh. Oh, the the no. beasts and stuff you could turn into that, and just oh, give me an idea that would they be able to dig faster oh. than a human? Yeah. Um. Okay. So Zozo is gonna. Is gonna assist with the the digging, uh, and uh, you know, trying to lighten the mood. And she she's also gonna she's gonna play some uh, rem remembrance tunes, you know, for uh, the dead. Look, all I say is, is please just check their pockets because we will need the gold. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, please. <laughs> especially to buy rations. What would uh bury them, bury them with their rings, their their jewelry, their everything else, but the gold the itself, coin. the coin, <laughs> like, the you know, coin. leave everything yeah. else. Leave them coin. with the sentimental stuff. We'll take the yeah. They're, they're flirting with that line of like <laughs> we're still good people. Hey, hey. Um, I am chaotic neutral for reason. <laughs> Uh, what, would, what would uh, <laughs> Echo be doing right now? <clears throat> Actually, you know what? Echo is uh, going to be joining you guys. She's not going to be necessarily uh, looting. I'm calling it what it is. You guys are looting. <laughs> she's not going to be uh, looting, but she's definitely going to be uh, checking the houses in for uh, any sort of uh, notes, writings, kind of thing to uh, learn, not only that, learn who these people are, obviously looking for information, but uh, since she, she's a person that catalogs everything, she, she's going to want to try to store this. Um, she's going to take them out, put them in her, her journal, look at them later. Okay, so um, three of you, you get to uh, burying the bodies that you find, laying them to rest. Uh, Pancog and Lushu, you come away with a total of 30 gold. Um, that you found it's it's a very poor town so that was between everyone um well like i said that was decent yeah there's um nothing too um flamboyant in this area like even when it comes to jewelry it's very simple um i guess uh you you find some you know in the end you, you find some ledgers about you know passerbys people that stayed at the the hotel you found some um inventory about what's coming in what's going out uh you find some letters just written between you know folks in the town themselves uh there's a, a letter uh lucia you find a letter 
uh, or not a letter, like a, a drawing in one of the houses, uh, about, it looks like a, 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 a child with a, a big ball and he's standing in the street. And then on the other side, there's a, a big armored, uh, elf looking lady coming in and she's, a uh, the, the kid's like holding the ball up. Um, what else would you find? I know most of it's just like Did scraps. Did I find any arrows? Um, sure. There's a few hunting arrows, like six. Uh, but in terms of uh, anything other crazy or extravagant, it's a very simple town. Uh, not many people knew how to read or write. So, um, in terms of posterity stuff, not much. <clears throat> so now we have eight hundred and six gold between the whole party. Jeez. Yeah, for the whole party. You guys are rich. Wait, where do I see the party gold again? Oh, oh, sorry, <clears throat> um, I see it. I get it. Yeah. Jesus Christ. Yeah, we ballin'. <laughs> yeah. So, do I need to add? Let me add thirty <clears throat> gold. Sure. To add it to the the party. Two sixty eight plus two. Um, so it's about, you know, 5 p.m., 6 p.m. It's, it's getting evening. Um, you guys kind of finished ransacking the houses. Uh, the bodies have been buried. Um, Zozo seems, uh, very, I wouldn't say distressed, but she seems very moved. She's, uh, a little less spunky, a little less bouncy around. Um, she seems to be taking this, uh, quite hard. Uh, with all that's happened. Um, but, you know, she's just kind of been going through some motions to try to, you know, bring peace to these villagers and uh, bring some sort of remembrance to them. Uh, before we leave, I'm gonna uh, use Druidcraft and, like, make a big, like, thing of flowers over, like, where the grave is. Oh, I love that. Okay. Um, you kind of spread uh, some wildflowers over the graves. Yeah. Alright, that's cool. I'll give you an inspiration point for that. I like that. Thanks. That's a, a clever use. Um, let's see. <clears throat> I guess, uh, how do you guys... I guess you guys have finished uh, what you need, I guess. Or what you've yeah, set out to do. Uh, how, how, we finished looting and finished burying the dead. You what? Where do we have to go next? That is up to you. Hmm. Well, the question is, with these soldiers, do we <clears throat> do we need to get them researched? <clears throat> the soldiers? To uh, figure out what the heck even happened? Yeah, because we took four. Well, you can. You can kind of glean with what happened by the, the journal pages and stuff that you guys picked up. Um, the necromancer was stealing people's souls from their bodies and storing them in these jars uh, to be later used to transfer to uh, for necromatic spells, um, negative energies, um, you know, making zombies. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's that's pretty much what they were being used for. Um. That would so be do we want to just one. take a direction? <sighs> uh, well, if you if you guys, I, it's been a while, so I'll do some a reminder thing. You were sent up here to investigate the uh, weird pinging anomaly that was uh, detected in Raska. So we should go to Raska. Should we go uh -huh. back to Raska? Question. How far away is Raska? Um, if you recall, so by by foot getting to Raska it takes like three weeks. However, <clears throat> uh, you got here fast, faster because uh, the they, they opened up a, a teleport for you guys. Oh uh, yeah. So we should go back to the wizard and uh, see if we can use that portal again. I guess. Also. Boy, totally forgot. Vasha, you still have that little bird. Oh, yeah. 
What do we name him? Pickles? Was it Nugget? Nugget. 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 <laughs> There's some some sort of food. <laughs> yeah, you still have Nugget. We gotta remember that. You just got this little yeah. bird that's just been hanging out. <laughs> Yeah, I have Gary in my bag. He's just poking his head out. Yep. Come over here, you bird. Um, okay, so uh, you guys want to head back to the tower? Is that is that it? Yeah, can I yeah. use um, Nugget to kind of, like, lead us there? Because Nugget was the one that led me well, here, so... Nugget led you here because he is a, a tracking bird to track the... Uh, the scent that was on Lushu because he ex oh, the, the exploded yeah. potion that he's would he have the scent of like the guy who gave him to me um no but you do have a ranger in your party that is uh, versed in forest travel and uh, oh, she would know her, her way back to the, the tower Oh, I see. I see how it is. Okay. Um, <laughs> I quickly recount in my memories to see which direction we came through town in. And then I promptly turn around because I remember that the first thing we saw when we came in was what? Uh, shoot. It wasn't the tavern. It was... We saw pins, but like animal pins, right? I don't remember. Maybe. Okay. Well, here I'll just role play this. Um, remembering when we first walked through town, I point towards uh, where the livestock would have been, and and say, "Hey, we need to be journey that way. That way is the way back to Raska." To the tower or to Raska? Uh, to the tower. Okay. The tower. So you guys want to start heading out uh, towards the tower? <laughs> yes. Yes. Okay. Um, you guys, uh, I guess gather up your uh, your belongings here. I get, you take a one last glance over this uh, this this town, which is now obviously just going to become uh, become a distant memory. Uh, doesn't even exist on a map. Or most maps, so uh, it's probably just gonna. F and everyone's dead. Yep, just gonna fade into memory here. Um. Well, then I guess we did them a favor by taking <laughs> some of their stuff. So uh, you make you start making your way back uh, to the tower. Um, if I recall, that that was a a bit of a uh, travel too. It was like eight to ten hours or something. Uh, to head back. Mm -hmm. Um. So it's it's getting it's starting to get a little bit late as uh, you're approaching. The tower, you, you can see it in the distance. Um, it's standing high above uh, the trees. Um, and so that means it's getting a little bit late. But uh, you guys approach the tower. And, oh no, music. Okay, I thought it stopped. Um, you kind of you approach the tower. And, uh, yeah, I, we'll just say you're at the tower. The, uh, the forest is alive with uh, you no know, crickets. <laughs> Vash is reveling in it. Um, and as we're traveling through the forest, I guess I'm going to see if I can sense any rabbits nearby. That's easy enough for me to shoot. Sure. Uh, go ahead and uh, roll survival. Let's see if I actually can roll anything today. Yeah, get your bad rolls out of the way. Decent. Yeah, that's not that bad. Um, yeah, you, you, on your way, um, between you know leading the party uh, away from any sort of hazards or finding a more optimal path, uh, you do keep an eye open for some small game. Uh, you do come across some rabbits um, every now and then. I'm a, in order to, you know, take them out, you might want to be walking with your uh, bow drawn and stuff, but are you going to try to try to take some out? Yes. Okay. 
Uh, go ahead and, uh... I don't know. Go, go ahead and roll a... Would that be stealth? A what? Would that be stealth? Because rabbits are notorious for being jittery. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll say that, you know, with your your training, you, you can, uh, know where they've been, you know, frolicking, I guess. Um, so you can stay, uh, avoid alerting them. Uh, I'll just make, go ahead and, uh, roll two D tens. Uh, just pick them up and right click and they'll get two and then just roll it into chat and we'll just make it a percentage. On your, your chance to hit. Hold on. I got my mouse and it wants to be difficult. On. Do they not have a D100? That's weird. So, okay, well, that's annoying. They don't have a D100. I don't know how to do that. Uh, so we'll say that was 70%. So, yeah, uh, you you successfully n managed to snag uh, about three, three rabbits on uh, your travel. Nice. So you can add that to your inventory. Yeah, rabbit. Good for stew. Mm -mm. Okay, uh, so you guys uh, have now, you know, made it to the tower. Just standing there, a little bit derelict. Not very well upkept. Um, I yell out, hello, is there anyone out there? No answer. Very loudly. I mean, hmm. it, it is dark, and when you guys first came here, there was no one here anyway. Did we search this place? The tower? Yeah. Uh, when you first came here? No. No. Oh. Can we see a door? Is it like broken? Is it? Yeah, there, there's a door. Um, it's obviously, you know, this place is not well maintained. Um, it's if you kind of go push on the door, kind of open the door, and you kind of you, you can smell the dust and the mildew, um, the mold coming off the the rocks. There, there seems to be like there, there could be a little bit of a, a study area, but it's okay. it's not used much. Hmm. Um. Can I touch around for anything of value? Yeah, go ahead. All uh, right. I guess investigation, or mm -hmm. uh, oh, mine's so low. Oh, that was almost a one. That's all right. Thank God. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, panicked, dude. You you find nothing of value, and if there was, um, it would have been in form of like some scrolls or anything. But they're all pretty much ruined from uh, the, the mildew and the, the dampness uh, of the forest. That this, this has obviously been neglected uh, for quite some time. Is there a map of, like, a, even a faded map of the area around the tower? A map? No. Uh, nothing that you can actually discern. It's, you know, it parchment is used in uh, <clears throat> this world, and it looks like this stuff has been sitting here for months, just getting rained on. Are there any owls around? Owls? Mm -hmm. Sure. Uh, I guess you could spend some time seeing if you can find an owl. Well, I was going to say, I could talk with an animal and see if there's even a town remotely close to where we're even at. A town? Um, mm -hmm. You know that there's not. Um, uh, Eldred uh, informed you guys that the nearest town to this tower was Honeywell. Nah. Well, guys, it looks like we're traveling for a while. 
uh, how we feel about that. I mean, we can always make camp if we need to. I mean, you guys have been traveling pretty much a full day already, so yeah. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. Well, I guess, really, because elves uh, can have uh, a long rest in four hours, so we can meditate. It's only Zozo that can't, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> um. So I will take first watch. Okay, I'll take second. Okay. Um. Fun. Okay. Cool. Um, one of you. I don't like that. Um. No. This. This is a. This is a. An idea that I wanted to implement. Um. So. In situations like this, where there is a... You're, like, camping in the woods, dangers are around, but not necessarily, like, a super hostile place where it's you're gar gonna be guaranteed to get a jump or something, we're gonna roll a dice. Or, one of you are, are gonna roll a dice to find out whether or not a random encounter happens. So... <laughs> I don't want that responsibility. Therefore, it's your yeah, fault exactly. if something happens. <laughs> so... I will let you. I will let you guys discuss amongst yourself. Not it. Who's rolling the die? Uh. Lose you. <laughs> oh, <laughs> she volunteers you. Uh, I don't. I don't. I don't want to. I did not volunteer as tribute. <laughs> I'm sorry. No. <laughs> I'm not very responsible for this. <laughs> All fine. I guess I already, you know, released about sixty souls. Actually, you know what? I could roll the die. I can roll the die to find out who rolls the die. I'm doing that. That sounds funny. We're doing it. All right. Yeah, I'm totally doing it. Vasha, you're one. Lucia, you're two. Eva, you're three. Pancod, you're four. Okay, got it. Two. Serial, oh, no. or Lucia. Oh, no. <laughs> got it anyway. All right. So, on your watch. Oh, the irony. On your watch, oh, roll a d12. A d12. On an 11, you get a a random encounter. On a 12, you get a hard random... Ah! <laughs> 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 Why did Lou shoot? Oh. <laughs> oh, I just made more work for myself, but that was worth it. <laughs> okay. Mmm. -hmm. I wasn't prepared for this at all. I thought I warned you. I gave you I gave you more than enough time to not give it to me. Dude, maybe I should have done it. Dude, you should have just taken it. Someone should have just taken it. Yeah. So, so you see, this is your fault as much as it Can is I just say there. that as I was saying, if you roll a twelve, you get a hard encounter. It stopped on the twelve. The timing is perfect. The poetic perfect. irony. Dude, this. <laughs> I think Fantasy Grounds has a has a desire sensor. It knows. Fuck. All right, now I gotta come up with a goddamn random encounter. <sighs> I was not prepared for this. I'm nearly dying. Yeah. Laughing nearly killed me. We're dying. Oh god. And I have to do a hard one. All right, this is fine. Uh. Is it fine? Okay, so actually, perfect. One hour exactly. We've been streaming. <laughs> Do you guys want to take a quick five minute break so I can put some crap together and blame it on Lushu? Fuck off. And then we can continue. <laughs> we have to do your watch, okay? Yes. You have second watch. Okay. Um, let's uh, let's take a fiver sleep. and uh, I'll, I'll get something busted out as quick as I can and then we'll come back and uh, continue from there. Sound good? Yes. I do. Sound good. <laughs> All right. Well, that's hilarious. All right, uh, chat. Enjoy some goofy clips of the channel while I go ahead and uh, create some stuff. And uh, love that. All right. We'll be right back. Oh, holy crap. That took forever.
All right. Are you guys actually ready? Yes. Sorry that took so long. Um, Gosh. Yes. I was not at all prepared for that. Um, I guess we'll learn how uh, random encounters work. I'm not prepared for the random encounter. Random encounter, man. Uh, I do have a random encounter generator uh, that I forgot about, but um, I'll play with that after stream to see if I can uh, get that sped up real quick. Um, but, oh, we need to turn on the tunes again because things are happening. Um, but due to the role, this is completely out of my control. You cannot be lame the DM whatsoever. <laughs> I'm just giving you shit. Um, but as um, everyone is kind of falling asleep, Lushu, on uh, your watch, uh, as you're meditating, uh, you start uh, hearing some uh, some rustlings in uh, some... Oh, you know what? I should probably share the uh, the thing with you guys, huh? Uh, share. Share with everyone. All right. Did you guys get it? Uh, yeah. Uh, Hilltop Watchtower Night. There you go. Gridless. Yeah, I see our characters, but I don't see an actual map. Really? Yeah, I don't see no background on it. It's just blank. Uh, oh, there we go. Little, mine just it loaded in. Mine's yeah. not there yet. Give it a moment, yeah, then. Yeah, you see a background? Oh, there we go. Yep, yep, it loaded okay. in. There we go. Oh. Okay, perfect. Okay, apparently it takes a hot second. Um. Okay, so uh, as uh, you guys are kind of sitting there, I gotta, I gotta switch stinking scene now. God damn it! And I, and of course I don't have the other fantasy grounds open because it's like there's gonna be no combats. It's totally fine. Anyway, um, so as you guys are uh, taking a rest here, Lushu, you start to hear some uh, uh, crackling in uh, some some of the bushes around. Uh, go ahead and roll a perception, actually. Oh, okay. Uh -oh. oh, great, yeah. <laughs> Uh, perception. Oh, I'm, uh, proficient. Won't matter, will it? Oh, it was almost a two, thank God. <laughs> okay. Um, I guess... Ah, oh, shit, that means I have to roll. A counter. Let's see. <coughs> Other main... Really, there's no... There's no informations here. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, here you go. That's not what I want. Whatever. Dex! Oh, yep. I got a plus zero, so I'll just roll a d20. And... Wow. I just rolled two natural 20s Whoa. and a 19. Jeez. DM hacks. I'm sorry. Bruh. You're, 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 you're paid to if that would have yeah. happened in real life as a player, I would have been like, I murdered the dragon. I don't care if I'm level two. <laughs> He's dead. <laughs> Somehow I do it. That was insane. What is... Alright, what is this D&D &D well, session? We've got a few clips tonight. <laughs> yeah, right? Oh my god. Um. Okay, so uh, all you know is that there's uh, some... As far as you know, there is, uh, you know, stuff going on in some, some bushes around. It, it could be, you know, little animals or whatever, but uh, something is disturbs the bushes. I'm going to, uh, I'm going to alert the party. You're going to, you're going to go in and start waking them up? Yes, yes, yes. I'm going to alert them. <laughs> you're just going to be like, hey, I hear a noise. <laughs> okay, how how go ahead and alert the party members, um, and also, how are you gonna do it? Are you gonna be trying to do it stealthily? What are you doing? I'm gonna be doing it stealthily. I'm gonna be trying doing it quietly. Um, so do I have to roll a stealth check mm -hmm. or? Oh, sorry, I got a plus. I got a plus seven. What's your? Oh, wait, 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 wait. Hold on. How are you gonna try to do it stealthily? Like, are you gonna try to? Act like you're you're not aware of something's happening, or are you just gonna um, act like you're not I'm there? Going to... So, uh, uh, is everyone where they are on the map? Like, is that accurate? Where they are, and I am where I am. Yeah. Yeah. Okay then. So I'm guessing the rustling was coming from 
Which bush was it coming from? Was it coming from this one or the ones down here? Uh, from down below. Down below? Okay, perfect. Um, so what I'm going to do then is I'm going to start moving backwards whilst keeping my eyes on where it is. And as I pass um, each member of the party in this way, that way I, I can move 60 feet. What a touch! It literally goes to everyone! Nice. <laughs> um... <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna like put my hand on the shoulder and kind of shake them, uh, try to wake them up that way, and whisper that I think there's something uh, that may require our attention. Okay. Um. One that Fantasy Grounds is acting goofy here. Let's go ahead and switch. Um. Whatever. It'll, it should uh, be picking it up. I am not on the map. <laughs> Oh, you are not on the map. I'm, I, I'm in a tent. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> so, you guys don't need me, me here. You drew the wrong straw. Like... It says, uh... <clears throat> I guess not. Hold on. Whoop, there you go. Beep. Shit. Um, okay. Um, are you going to try to do it um, like you're not being conspicuous? Or are you just going to um, stealth around it? Um... I'm going to try and act like I'm doing it naturally. Okay. Like still trying to keep an eye on what's going on. Okay, I so uh, go ahead and roll a deception or perform. I guess it would be a performance because you're acting like you're you're not aware of the sounds, right? So go ahead and roll a uh, a performance. Oh no. Uh oh. Here we go again. Plus zero. <sighs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> sorry, ahead of time. Oh! Did you just do something awesome? He doesn't 19? Need to be sorry. All right. Don't need to be sorry. Okay. Uh, you successfully <laughs> are able to, uh, yeah, navigate around uh, without. Wee woo, wee woo, wee woo. <laughs> uh, I'm so sorry. Um, I was just, in my head, I'm just humming the Mission Impossible theme tune. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. so they need to roll. Absolutely. Oh my god. What are your rolls? What are these rolls? Oh, can you not see them? I can see them, okay. yeah. Um, <laughs> 19, 6, and 18. So what's... uh? What's the deception roll, or to see if some, or uh, I guess that would be perception, huh? So that's wisdom. Okay, so that it's just their their straight rolls. So if it meets it, it beats it. So um, we will say. Oh, so you started at Pancog first, and you went to Zozo, right? Yes, and then it would have been to okay. Ava, Echo, and then Basha. So you successfully get to Pancog. And uh, mm. nudge her awake, or you kind of shake him. Okay, go ahead and try to wake up Pancog right now. Go for it. Uh, I'm just gonna shake the, the shoulder. Okay. Pancog, are you gonna are you gonna respond? Is someone shaking anything your shoulder? Or did we lose a Pancog? Oh, you're muted, Pancog, by the way, in case you didn't know. Did we lose her? Did, did, did she come back? Oh, you know what? She might not have. For the, <laughs> for the break. Whoops. Oh, here we are. Uh, yeah, no, sorry. I'm, okay. I'm sorry. I spelled pee everywhere. Oh, Oof. What am I rolling? Um, you're not rolling anything. You're just, uh, Lucius coming over to wake you up because he heard a thing. Um, well, because I'm just in a meditative state, I just, uh... Oh, yeah, that's right. ...kind of shove his hand off. <laughs> just leave me alone. Really sleep. Yeah, so he's just coming over and being obnoxious at this point to you, I guess, right? Um, yeah. but but I'm you're just poking the face. Yeah, just... <laughs> hey... Hey, up. hey, hey. hey. <laughs> All right, I can't get this stupid thing to work. What does payback hurt? Okay, um, payback, so you, you do, you do, will say you are able to successfully uh, alert Pancog that you hear something. Um, but as you're making your way over to Zozo and wake up, roll for initiative. 
Oh no. Oh, oh god. So what have I done? <laughs> you what have you done? Sorry. <laughs> and there's the 20. There we go, alright. I really hate that. No, it's cold. It's all jacked up. Away, you know? I'm gonna do it again. What are you doing? Oh, I got an eight. Uh, I gotta put. Blip, blip, blip. I'm fast as fuck, boy. There we go. <laughs> Made of oh, I gotta. Damn it! I gotta roll the other two people. Ciao. Oops. Fine. Uh, echo. Initiative. Oh, yep. Everyone rolling it. Even if we're technically asleep right oh, now. Oh, that's right. Vasha coming in without a. So anyone that's asleep right now can't roll initiative. So I guess it's just Lushu and uh, Pancog at the moment. Oof. Oof. Fuck. Um, battle, uh, battle is gonna, is gonna at least Lushu fucking went goes first. <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> That's bananas. Yeah. Okay, go for it. You guys, I told you not to leave it up to me. I told you not to leave it up to me. I, I, you're not so much as I am. I, 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 I thought it would be entertaining. Yeah, well, I, was it? I thought it would be entertaining. Guess what? It's it, quite it, entertaining. It, it's oh. incredibly entertaining. content. <laughs> okay, then, well, I don't, I don't see them, do I? Not yet. Nope. Um, well, if I'm rolling initiative, if I don't see them. Actually, I'm wait, gonna... no, no. Um, since I said roll initiative, yeah, you are able to see. Uh, oops, <gasps> oops, wrong thing. What would they be? Springing from <laughs> the uh, the down area is uh, or below you is uh, three hu humanoid uh creatures. Uh, come in full sprint at you guys. Gas creatures. Okay, well, um, I'm gonna run to Gnaw and attempt to wake up Eva and Echo. Okay. Yoink. For I am now aware what is in front of me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, do I have to roll anything to do it, or do I just... I, um, I'm I assuming I... that, I mean, if you're gonna gently try to wake them up, that's your thing. But I'm assuming. Oh, this point. No, yeah. No. <laughs> I'm, I'm grabbing the shirts and lifting them off the ground. <laughs> just to try and get them up. That's, that's what Lucy's doing right now. He sees, he sees these wearables and uh, he kind of freaking out. <laughs> like, you know. So, yeah. I'm guessing with that as well, with as loud as I'm being, um, Vashko would also hear it because they're within 15 feet, right? Sure. Yeah, okay, awesome. So yeah, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna do that. <laughs> okay. Uh, so you kind of rush over and say, WAKE UP! Or, actually, you go ahead. This is you. You, you get to RP how you're waking him up. Wake, Wake up! up! Grab a bush and put a little makeup! <laughs> <laughs> I knew that was coming. I knew it. <laughs> I like how I thought about that. I kind of grab them. And I'm just, I'm just, I just shout. Man bear pig! Man bear pig! I'm shaking, I'm shaking. The whole way. I was constantly shouting man bear pig. Okay. Yes. Uh, they, they, your friends successfully, uh, shoot up, uh, as a wake. Oh, by the way, since you guys were napping, Vasha, were you nap, or were you sleeping in your armor? Because if you sleep in heavy armor, you take negatives. I mean, I doubt I would be sleeping in armor. Okay. Um, so your AC would be a little different then. Um, so it's up to you. If you want to be... Yeah, I, don't, I don't think I would have been sleeping in armor. Okay. Um, so we'll have to modify your AC. I wonder if I can just do that by clicking buttons. That'd be great. Button to click. So you're at 17 AC. Uh, you can have your shield, obviously. <gasps> you're wearing scale mail. That's medium armor. You're fine, dude. I thought you were wearing heavy armor. Oh. You, you take slight negatives. Um, but I don't think it's anything significant. Anyway, go ahead, uh, lose you. <laughs> um, so that actually counts as doing something, so I can only really move 15 more feet, right? Yep. Okay, then. So I'm gonna go bop, bop, um, bop, right there. 
Damn. Perfect. Oh, sorry, let me get the combat tracker up to end my turn, sorry. Uh, there you go. Alright. No, oh, it's a purple turn. The, uh... Oh boy. The, uh, the, the, the humanoids, uh, see that you have reacted to their presence. Um, and, uh, one of them is going to... I don't like that. Yeah, he's going to... Eh. He's he's gonna shape shift into a. You you can hear some bones cracking and popping into place as he's uh charging at you and he he shifts into a a boar like humanoid running on a two uh on his two legs and he's gonna charge. On two hind legs. Yeah yeah his well he's humanoid form right now, so he's just gonna run straight at you. That is not natural. Actually, you know what? That's yeah, because that's how it works, because <laughs> werewolves are still humanoids, right? Yeah. Um, he is going to charge directly at Lushu. <laughs> oh, great. <laughs> Come at me, Blue. Eh. Eh. Eh, that's fine. And uh, he's going to hit you with the his Tuscanators. Wait, hold on. I gotta make sure I'm reading this right. Okay, he's gonna hit you with his tusks. Boom. You'll be fine. I'll be fine. Uh, you dodge. I'm fine. Don't worry about it. <laughs> uh, so Don't you. Worry about it. Okay, so he missed uh, the first one. Uh, he's oh, there's two. Oh, great. Yeah, he's get a he gets two attacks. Second one. Oh, fantastic. And uh, he missed. That's great. Don't worry about it. Wait. Yep. You 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 dodge both out of the way. For uh, both those attacks, you manage to dodge out just fine. Also, this music is or this ambiance is really weird right now. Uh, there's a uh, there are things okay, happening. I'm all calm and serene when we're in the middle. Of Getting attacked by some wear thingies. Yep. Big boys. Okay. Um, so the first one comes in and does literally nothing. Um, third one also comes in. Uh, five, ten. Well, that's number two. It's where bear three's turn. Oh, whoops. Cool. Well, this guy can actually get closer. Oh no, fuck, why did I say anything? <laughs> um... How far can he move? Okay. Uh, yeah, so he shapeshift, and he comes in. He also... Here, I'm gonna shift you so you're on a square. Um, and I'm fine. he doesn't get the charge because he had to go up a corner, so he didn't get to do it straight, but... He is going to Tuscanate you. That one hits. Uncanny dodge. Alright. And the uh, second one will also hit. Fuck. Uh, so <laughs> your uncanny, da uncanny dodge will uh, negate. Oh, well, that was the less damage you could do. Uh, so you take three damage instead of six. Mm hmm. And then. Uh, the second damage. Ah! Is he dead? He just rolled two sixes. Ouch! You just took he Max that. Yeah, he uh just the first one. You're in county dodge. You kind of lose your footing on it because you just dodged the other dude, and uh you managed to barely dodge out of the way. But the the boar saw an opening. And just uh, gutted you up the side with one of his tusks. Uh, Oof. Yeah, that was a that was rough. Uh, that hurt. Hancock, uh, it's your turn. Muted, Pancock. There we go. Okay. Um. Is is it an action to grab my bow? If I had it right beside me. Um, no. 
because uh, you didn't have anything in your hand, you can free action use it. Okay, I'm gonna move back about fifteen feet. Okay. And I'm going to attempt to attack where Vor one. Okay. But first, I'm going to. I'm going to put a hunter's mark on it. Okay. Actually, no. Let me... <clears throat> oh, I forgot something. Uh, Lushu. I can't do Hail of Thorns. Mm -hmm. Lushu right there. God damn it, Lushu. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, don't... He's already hit pretty hard. Yeah, I'm... <laughs> Lushu. <laughs> you... uh, Lushu, I'm giving you a... Uh... You're doing a constitution saving throw right now. Oh god, why? Oh, that's fine. I'm best. You, you, uh... Don't tell me I fail. <laughs> Please. Okay, <laughs> yeah, you pass that one. Oh, thank god. That'd be nervous then. Um... It's that one, it's not another one, is yeah, it? Yeah, another one. Oh god. Uh... Oh, 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 you pass. That should be a just, yeah. Yeah, you pass. <laughs> Uh, that's fine. Uh, go ahead, Pancog. Uh, you you marked him. Cool. Okay. Did uh, you yeah, give yourself the bonus too? I figured out how to do it. Nice. Yeah. Um. So I'm going to try to hit him. Oh, you fuck! No, but it's you plus seven though. Yeah, you hit him. You hit him. <laughs> really huge, come on, dude. Ooh. That's not bad. 11 damage. Oh. Hold on a minute. Something's weird. Okay, you did 11 damage. Mm -hmm. To where we're one. Okay. Yeah. And then I mean Kyrian. Uh... Mm -hmm. uh, uh, I need you to give me right. Kyrian's thing. Trying to drag him to you. Did you get him? Give me a second. My computer is super slow. Yes. I did. Go okay. for it. Okay. Now to figure out what Kyrian gets to do. Um. I'm gonna have Kyrian go up about there. Okay. About ten feet. And he's gonna attempt to it's gonna be the best. No, the Boop. Let's do I'm gonna have him attempt to bite him. Okay. Uh, so he's got to move like here because that's that's Lushu that you're trying to bite, and you roll a one. Okay, you roll the one. Uh, he just misses. Oh god. Yeah, you're 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 fine. He just missed. So I thought I was gonna get hit with that. I was. Oh. I was gonna say. I thought he was gonna. End up biting the issue. No, if you would have, if you would have rolled something on the fumble, then you could have. Is that your turn? Yes. All right. So since uh, everyone else beyond you two was still asleep at this turn, uh, Echo is getting up, uh, and the last guy is going to run up here too. I at least damaged one? <laughs> and, uh... There, there's perspective? He rushes up. And he does a, uh... A full shift. Uh, oh, God. full form shift. Zozo, uh... And Eva and Vasha are waking up. Lushu, it's your turn. 
Ha <laughs> um, ha Right, I should get a sneak attack because a friendly or an enemy target, uh, Kyrian, is there, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Awesome. <laughs> Thank you, Kitty. <laughs> okay, then. So I'm going to attempt to attack. Or wait, sneak attack is you get when you have advantage on a target, right? Yeah, but I don't need advantage when there's another enemy of it within five feet. Oh, okay, right. Gotcha. <laughs> so... Um, I am going to attempt to attack. Where's my actions? There it is. Uh, number three. Um, let me double check that real quick. Uh, sneak attack. Once when you get extra three d6 damage to you hit with an attack or finesse. So I actually have to hit them first. Okay then. All right then. So this is my main hand. You hit. Ooh. Oh, thank you. Um, I'll roll my first damage. Oh, max damage. Um, nice. Then I roll 3d6 onto it, right? Because uh, I haven't got a thing here for sneak attack to... Oh, did it disappear? Through. I thought yeah. you had. I thought you put it there, yeah, but it's... Oh, it's it's there. It's under your powers. Uh, how do I... Do I just... Uh, expand it? it? Yeah, click the... I sneak attack, then I drag the d6 onto the... So, do you see under way. your powers... If you click the little magnifying glass, it'll expand it, and then you, you just roll that. Right? Oh. Ah! Wait, what? Did you just hurt yourself? No. I just dragged something onto there. Like, it's not letting me drag. Oh, wait, no, I dragged that onto Werewolf 3. There you go. There you go. And then... Okay, so what, now he has that bonus. So just go ahead and roll the 3d6, and then uh, we'll add it. Okay. Uh, but next time it should do it itself. Oh, big damn mag is. So 12? Is that 12 or 20 damage altogether? Nice. Not bad. And yeah, that will be. Revenge! <laughs> It's revenge for her for hitting you. And uh, that is not good sounds. We need just animal sounds. Here you go. Uh, Werebore one is going to attempt to attack you. He's going to. To me? Yeah, you are right in front of him. I'm going lucky to. I got my uncanny dodge back again. <laughs> smack at you with his tuscanate. Uh, I'm gonna wait and see what the damage is that's first, a, and that's then a hit. use my thing. <laughs> that is a hit. Two. How much damage? Uh, that's fine. I'll take that. Yeah, very little. Uh, that's um, fine. And then the second one, he's gonna attempt to maul you. I've only got nine HP left. <laughs> that's a hit. Oh no! Holy shit! Oh. Oh no! Lucio is. Dodge. Yeah, I was gonna say, holy dodge. shit. I'm gonna fucking. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hold on, where are you? Um, so you take uh, five instead. Oh, thank god. <laughs> so it exceeded it by two, so yeah, that was. But you're, you're still fucked. You're still free. Yeah, you're. you're... Oh, Alright, I gotta get. Remove the unconscious thing because you're not. Also, <gasps> that needs to go away. Oh boy, you are uh, you're having a bad time of it. A little bit, just a little. Uh, Werewolf three is uh not gonna pull any punches, and he's definitely gonna hit you. Holy shit! This was all on a fucking random encounter. Why did you do this to me? <laughs> oh god! No, we're gonna lose. Swings, swings at Lucio. That's a hit. Oh, I'm fucked. I'm I'm, I'm actually. That's oh, a lot of no. damage! Oh, Why did you roll so many damage? Oh, you're unconscious now. Yeah, you're uh... Oh, no, because I, I, I accidentally dragged that 3 d Oh, okay, so... It added 3 d So you only so take 4. Damage. Yeah. yeah. Holy shit. Oh, I'm still unconscious. Yeah, you're still one. unconscious. Um... <laughs> holy shit, so you should be at 34. I was about to cry. That's it. That's it. I'm dead. That would have been fucked. I am. I'm dead. I'm dead. That's um, it. God, fuck. God, fuck. I can bring you back to life. So he, see, he, uh, <laughs> Lushu is definitely unconscious here. Uh, he's going to do his secondary attack on, uh, 
Uh, Vasha is in the way. So he's gonna he's gonna attack Vasha. Where is the? There it is. Come on, me, bro. <laughs> he's gonna swing with. He's gonna attempt to maul Vasha. Oh, that's a hit. Oh, god oh, damn! I forgot. Uh, Lushu, we're gonna have to. Okay, so you you took a little bit of damage, Vasha. Lushu needs to roll a uh, Constitution save. See if it works. <laughs> No. You fail. Oh, this is fantastic. God damn it. Alright, I gotta... I love playing d, d I gotta make a note of that. <laughs> oh god. Make a note of it, he says. God damn it. Uh, well, this is de derailing all sorts of things. <sighs> okay, well, that's his attack. Uh, Pancog. Where Boar 1 would have been dead. Um, question. Mm -hmm. Is it possible for Kyrian to drag Lushu next to me? Uh, sure, but he'll take two attacks of opportunity. Uh. Because he's going to be leaving two threat ranges. Okay, give me a second. Um... Um, let me see if I can't get rid of one of these stupid werebores. Um. Oh. Uh, you hit. Eight damage. Holy crap. Okay. Um, and then as shit, I would say as a bonus action, I'd run up to him and cast your wounds, but I can't. Uh, fuck. help me. <laughs> I'm trying to think of how. Ah, uh, fine for my next. I'm, I'm going to go ahead and move up right behind Lushu. Thank you. Okay. So that next turn I can hopefully cast some Cure Wounds on him. Yeah, you um, and also see him drop. Wait, you already attacked. Oh, Kyrian, sorry. Okay. Yeah, yeah, Kyrian. Uh, I'm gonna have him attempt to bite at where. Okay. I'll do that. Uh, where board two in front of him. Uh, you oh, hit. Oh. And some damage. Some damage. Um, and then that's mine and Kyrian's turn. Uh, All right, Echo Echo's is turn. fully awake and seeing everything that has transpired. How? Ooh. 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 Okay. Seeing Lushu just. I don't like how you're saying. What? I said I don't like how you're how you're saying that. Yeah, same. No, the ooh is um. I'm gonna. You the uh, nervous, dude. Yeah, the uh. <laughs> Echo seeing Lushu drop like a, a sack of rocks. 
uh, is gonna Ow. is gonna invoke one of her serious spells here, mm. and she's going to attempt to. Oh yeah, she's got plenty of room. D do you guys see that? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh yep. Oh wow. That's sick. I can't rotate it. Whatever. So she's she's got plenty of room, but so she can hit all of them. She's gonna attempt to fear them. They each oh, gotta roll okay. a, a check. He passed. He passed. He failed. Okay. So this guy is uh Werebor 2 is now frightened of uh, Echo. And I gotta give her concentration. Unfortunately, it did not work the way um, I would have hoped it to, to work if I was playing Echo. But uh, one of them is definitely scared shitless of uh, Echo. And Echo's gonna go ahead and back up. 5, 10, 15, 20. To get into a, a better spot. Uh, Kyrian is already gone. Okay, Werebear 2, or Werebear, Werebore 2 has to flee. Run, uh, Mitch. Yay! Run. Where is... <laughs> God damn it. I just closed Echo. I have to read her stinking spell. Uh, this one. All right. While this frightens the spell, the creature must take a dash action and move away from you by the safest route on each of its turns, unless there is nowhere to move. If the creature ends its turn in a location where it doesn't have line of sight to you, the creature can make a wisdom save. Let's get that full save for that creature. Alright, so fear. Oh, wait, that's the name of the spell. Alright, so he's just frightened. And I think that means uh, he uh, takes uh, minuses and stuff. But uh, he has to use his dash action to move away. So he's going to. 5, 10. 20, 30. So, he just booked it, and since it's dash, um, he doesn't provoke an attack of opportunity. But he's he noped out of there. He saw the he saw, uh, Echo unleashed his worst possible vision into his mind and made him run. Zozo is going to. What can she do? Maybe this. She's going to attempt Atasha's hideous laughter. Holy shit. Okay. The um, halfling is going to scare the shit out of his werebear, werebear man pig thing. Yep, she's going to uh, do it on uh, werebear one, or whatever. He... Fails. Holy shit. All right. Um, so that, <laughs> since he's transformed, that werebore, uh, Zozo sh strums her loot, and all of a sudden that werebore kind of just, like, drops his uh, guard and immediately falls over backwards. Oh, no problem, Vasha. Uh, do what you gotta do, my dude. Um, and uh, starts laughing uncontrollably. So he's <laughs> it's this. This uh, and falls prone. Oh, wait, hold on. There you go. Um, and uh, so he's laughing his ass off. Uh, Eva, it's your turn. Awesome. Um, okay, I am going to, at least for right now. Um, actually, yeah, I should be able to reach. Um, I'm gonna move a little bit forward. Um, and use one, <laughs> because of this poor man, I'm gonna use one of my third level skill, uh, skill <laughs> <slot>. <laughs> to, No to joke. Your wounds. Um, this poor man, alright, so that's 3d8 plus 3, right? Uh, third level? I believe so. 
Okay, cool. Uh, it should say uh, in your sheet if you, uh, if you just drag it. Um, it's a d 1d8 plus 1. So if you're casting at third level, it's 3d8. Well, hers is slightly higher because it's based on her uh, spell casting yeah. modifier. Uh, so it only is giving me... Oh, wait, can I? So if, oh, yeah. yeah, if you left-click, <laughs> drag, right-click twice, it. you got we it. You get ready. Oh, wow, okay. Boom! All of a sudden, <laughs> feeling so much better. Oh, my God, okay. No longer unconscious, but you were... Uh, Damn. You come no. up and your side is just... Uh, just leaking grossness. Also... So here Here's a question. Can I still use the bonus action afterwards to go back to wild shape, or should I just do that for next turn? Uh, are you asking me as a DM, or are you asking the players? Yeah, as, as a DM. Yeah, uh, bonus action you can use um, after an action, or before, so... Okay, well, that was not what I meant to click. Uh, just so... trying to switch my sheet here. <laughs> um, okay, yeah, then I'm just gonna do that. Okay. Which it does not show because Fantasy Grounds hates you for some reason. Um. Yeah, it shows you're active. Fantasy Grounds be weird like that. I don't know. There it goes. Oh, okay. And now it won't let me skip. Okay. <laughs> yeah, put you, uh, do you remember what your uh, initiative was? Uh, I don't think we ever. Oh, yeah, you. you were sleeping. Let's do that. Um. Have you, have you guys roll after this round? Um, also, I need to drag you back onto the combat tracker because this thing acts funky if uh, you are not involved. Um, so Zozo went, Eva went. It's Vash's turn, which they stepped away for a second. I don't know if there's... I'm like okay. here, but I'm not. Sorry, the people I'm dog sitting for will be here like any second. No problem. Um, I'm going to cast <clears throat> Toll the Dead at Oop. hitting wrong buttons um, at number three. Okay. Dong. Oh, and they're here. Okay. Uh, you... Bring out the he dead. Uh, he saved. Okay. Then I will pass my turn. Okay, uh, so everyone that didn't roll for initiative, go ahead and roll for initiative. Cool. Echo. I go back to my main sheet for that, don't I? Yep. Uh, it is, where is it? The main, here we go. There it is. Oh, I gotta mark off a, a spell. Level one. Ding. All right. Okay, so it's me. Or no, it's Lucio. Do the hiccups again. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Uh, let's see. So uh, that was Vash's turn. Uh, Lucio's turn. Well, oh, I've got HP now. You <laughs> you have life. You you were. I have all the life. Well, technically, um, you're prone you're still right now. Leaky. Yeah. Okay, so um. You have to stand up for sure. Yeah, I'm gonna stand up. Okay. Um. Okay. Um, I'm gonna stand up and I'm gonna try to attack Webble Webble number one. Um. Would my sneak attack count? Like, is Pancog within five feet? Yeah, but she's a uh, she has a ranged weapon, so uh, you won't get that bonus. Like carrying and right Yeah, you can do three. Does does that matter? Yeah, because uh, essentially it's supposed to make someone be on guard, and but since there's two people with melee weapons that they can hit them, they can't properly guard themselves. But since what about Webbo three then? Because... Oh, absolutely, because Kirian can hit. Uh, I'm going to attack Webbo three. Um, so, let me do my main one first, with my action there it is, right, main hand. That was a weird way to spin the dice. You hit. No one hit, okay then, you so. You guys have some mad attack, or, oh, wait. If I drag yeah. on that onto him now, like that, and there you then go. drag on my 1d4, oh, I didn't drag it onto him. It missed for some reason. Um, it, no, it said it hit him. 
He took some damage. Yeah, I mean, as in the... Uh, the oh, the 3d6? 3d6 didn't do it because I didn't put it on him. It, like, messed up. But if I just do this... I think you're supposed to drag that on yourself because it gave him a 3d6. There you go. <laughs> I did 7, 8, 9, 10, 14 damage. And that was with the uh, main hand. Now it's the right. other hand. So... Why does it keep doing this? I keep dragging it on there. And it, all right. What, why, why did two roll? I have no idea why two rolled. Uh, because... Well, yeah, why did two roll? Short bow. Oh, you 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 <laughs> you might want to redo that. Yeah. Because you attempted to say you did a short bow. There you go. There you go. You hit. Okay, and the damage. Eh, still five. Some damage done. Yes. Okay, and um, that shall be it for meow. Meow. All right. <coughs> World War One is incapacitated. He's prone. Yep. Let's see. How is he gonna? Because he he's laughing his ass off. Yeah. I gotta I gotta open up Zozo's sheet to see can he save from that. All right. Tasha's hideous laughter. Where are you? At the end of each of its turns, each time it takes a damage, the target. And each time it takes damage. So you did damage. It can attempt to make a wisdom saving throw. All right, so it's going to try to... He attacked three, didn't he? Not one. He what? I said he attacked three, not one. No, no, no. Yeah, it's... If they get hit, they get a chance to save. <clears throat> so I'm pretty sure that fails. That might pass. Let's see. Uh, they both fail. So he's still laughing his ass off. Um, becoming unable to stand up for the duration. At the end of each of his turns, it takes damage. The target can make another wisdom saving throw. They have advantage on the saving throw if it's triggered by damage. Oh, okay. So they got to roll again. <laughs> a three and a one. That's fine. And now it gets to do its last save because it's the end of its turn. And it rolls a 20. So, um, <clears throat> he is now busted out. Holy crap, that was a crap ton of rolls that he had to do. Um, he is no longer hideous laughing. But he can't stand up because it's the end of his turn. So, he's no longer affected by hideous laughter. But it is now Werebore 3's turn. And he is going to attempt to attack Lushu. Oh no. <clears throat> he hits. And you take max Uncanny damage dodge. again. <laughs> okay. <Uncanny. laughs> You're just like living on that, dude. You got a dodge tank I really, here. I really. I, I, what else can I do? All right, um, and his next okay. attack swings. He's going to attempt to maul you, and he rolls a two. Oh, thank God. Uh, Eva's turn. Heck yeah. Um, I'm going to move around Pancog, like around and get to where Blur One, who's going to get a humping, if I say so myself. A humping. Go for it. Humph humping. away. Yeah, humph. Oh, oh with a crit! Delicious. Hot time to die, buddy. Yep. Not really, but you know. <laughs> Smacked. Um, yeah, and then I'm gonna swing at him too, cause you know. Holy shit. <laughs> yep, it's definitely hit. Come here, buddy. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Some good damage <laughs> there. Yeah. I think he's dead. Nope. No, not yet. He's uh oh, he's he's hurting though. though. We'll see uh he's starting to uh, show some signs of hurtage. Uh Echo is going to bust out <clears throat> another something or other. Uh, oh, you know what? She's absolutely going to fireball. Yeah, she would fireball. Yes. And she can hit Look at that. All on the edge and you guys are safe. <laughs> 
All right, she's absolutely fireballing the shit out of this. Um, <laughs> gotta see if they. Oh, gotta delete this token. Delete. Yes. All right. Do they hit? He failed. He, he absolutely rolled one. Damn. Oh! oh! I thought that was two ones in a row. That's another failure. Yes, they both failed. They all failed. Wow. They all just failed. Alright, there's the first damage. 32 oh damage. Oh ah! Holy crap. Here's the next one. Christ. Look at all those dice. 36 oh my damage. God. Oh my god. This Why is ridiculous. She, this all the time? <laughs> she just did almost 100 damage. She only just got fireball, that's how. <laughs> yeah, and that gets marked off. Okay, that was her level 3 spell. She just did a ridiculous amount of damage. Please tell me one of them is already dead now. Nope. Uh, but uh, the the one that's on the ground is uh, definitely charbroiled, um, burning and bleeding out like crazy. So uh, how about bacon for dinner tonight? Uh, right. <laughs> uh, holy shit! I mean... That was a lot of damage. Pancog, you're up. Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna be nice to Lushu and use a second level spell slot. Go for it. Luce is your dodge tank. Appreciate it. <laughs> uh, and you used... Uh, second level is two, right? Yeah, you're going to want to do it again. So, to do it at, like, a second level, if you left-click and hold, and then right-click, it'll give you another dice, and okay, then just so, mark it off. Okay, so I'm on a laptop. I don't have a mouse. Uh, you have a right-click button, though, right? No, I don't. You don't have a right-click on a laptop? Nope, it's a, uh... It's just a touchpad. Yeah, there should be click buttons, right? No. Built in? Oh, that's weird. All right. Um. So the next one was you rolled a one. Um. Okay. Oh, you just oh you didn't actually do it on him. So so you get nine, ten, yields ten. Boom. Ten. That's 11. No, because you did the plus one twice. That's not supposed to happen twice. Uh, it would okay, be 2d8 yeah. plus one. Well, I hope you're feeling a little bit better. And I'm going to go ahead and move back. You will take an attack of opportunity. Feet. Will I? Uh, but isn't he prone? Oh, you're right. He's prone. You're fine. Oh. I, say, I, he, I should be fine. He needs to see if... You, oh, he broke out last time. That's right. He just hasn't stood up yet. Yeah, okay. no, he's turboiled. Yep. And then Kyrian's going to attack where boar three. Give me a second. Holy fuck. Too many too many screens up. I can Echo just lit up the sky with a giant explosive ball of fire. Alright, you hit. Yes. You did some damage. Good job, Kyrian. Good kitty. And that is my turn. And then it is uh, Zozo's turn. It's Zozo is going to use uh, not that. She's going to use dissonant whispers. She's going to attempt to assault the mind of Werebear Three. And, uh, misses. Never mind. Our, uh, our tunes fall on death werebore ears. Master's turn. Okay. 
Um, I'm. Going to um. I'm gonna try to hold the dead again. Go for it. On uh, number three. Uh, you hit. Oh wait. He saved. saved. Yep, you have saved. And I'm gonna pass my turn. <laughs> <laughs> I just, my bells are not working. Lose your turn. Okay, number three again. So. Main hand. Yeet. Fantastic. Let me try again this time. <laughs> Drag onto the wherever. <laughs> Drag the damage. Oh, that's why it's not working. That's fine. Yeah, it's not max damage again, though. Let's go. Yeah, dude, damn. Um, but then the 3d6. Oh, I did not roll, nice. But only, 11. Only 2 came up, but okay. Not bad. 23 damage altogether. And this is the offhand. Oh, yes. And damage there. <coughs> Very nice. Nice. Uh, uh, he is, uh, uh, he's looking about as bad as his friend on the ground. Uh, they're, they're pretty messed up. Okay, then that'll be it from Wa. All right, uh, this guy is going to. This guy is definitely going to stand up. And uh, he makes pig noises and uh, attempts to disengage and uh, flee the scene. So he he says, "Fuck this, I'm out." <laughs> and Not so fast. he's going to uh, roll an athletics. Wow, their stats are garbage. Not that. Oh, let, let me roll. Uh, yeah, he, he jumps down this little ravine with ease and fucking books it out. Uh, this guy, hearing his friend squeal away in pain, uh, decides to, uh, do the similar thing in 5, 10, 15, 20. He's also going to roll to see how he performs jumping down this ravine. And he does not do so well. He uh, he slips and uh, he's now... <laughs> he, he tumbles down and he's going to fall prone. Where is the facts? There you go. All right, you are now prone. Well. Just squeals down. And next, oops, wrong button. Would be Eva, you're up. That one's like a fun time. Uh am I within I should be. Oh yeah. yeah She's like, no, ready. full murder bear. No way. Uh uh. <laughs> Not today, bitch. Not today. You hit. Did some damage. And then, uh, my little friends here. <laughs> you hit. Jeez. So much damage has been done in this combat. All the Demogi is all I'm gonna say. Alright. All of the Demogi. <laughs> Echo is going to, uh,. She sees that those two are fleeing. She wants to make sure that that one also flees. So he's she's going to uh Oh, 
Where's her fucking... I'm just waiting for her to cast another fireball. Where's her Eldritch Blast? There it is. Eldritch... Eldritch Blast. At this dude. And she missed. She rolls for both of them because she's targeting both. And the second one hit. Slam. And some damage was done. Uh, Pancog, you're up. You're up, Seas. So... Okay, um... I also want to cast... With my attack... Hail of Thorns. Uh, that... Uh, I think that counts as your full attack, doesn't it? Hail of Thorns is a is an act. Oh, it's a bonus action. All right. Yeah. Okay. As long as I can. Okay, so it. you you have to hit him first. Yeah. So I'm gonna attempt to hit Were Bear Three, or Were Boar Three. The one that's running. Yes. Uh, he's down a little cliffside. You can't see him. From where you're at, you could run to the edge if you want. Can I, can I see him from right here? No, you'd have to be, like, right here. Okay. Well, I'll be right there. Go for it. So you gotta hit him first. Yep. I think. Come on! Oh yeah, he's prone. Wait, what? <laughs> so you just fucking hit! Um. Okay, cool. Uh, so how do I cast this? Yeah, you hit him. So, you just drag that onto yourself now. Oh, no. So, it does it in the area. It sprouts from your ranged weapon in addition. Okay, so, you would do... You essentially drag that uh, thing onto him. There. there there's your, your thing of thorns on the ground. Okay, cool. And, watch out. Uh, and that's the damage you did? Uh, no, that only did it for my piercing damage for my arrow. Right, that's what I was saying. That was the damage. He has to see. Uh, he can't do a dexterity throw because he's prone. So go ahead and roll. So there's the piercing. my arrow of thorns damage. The one d ten. Nice. Yeah. Um. Wow. You you murdered him. He he is uh, unconscious now. <laughs> you just went full murder hobo on the poor guy that was fleeing. All right, he is unconscious. Shouldn't have been here, you stupid thing. Okay. All right, is that your turn? Um, it's Carrion's turn. Let's see, what do I want him to do? Uh, he's good. Not to pass the turn. All right, this guy is going to disengage from Eva and also run away. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. He's out. The merch of friends. Run away. And, uh... Zozo is, uh, gonna let him run. Basha, you wanna do anything? Can I do anything? I mean... They're all, like... The two of them ran. The other one is unconscious, laying on the ground now. I mean... <laughs> I guess I can toll the dead on him. You're gonna just try to full kill him? Alright. Yeah. Go for it. I mean, you have to run up to the edge of the, the thing, but... Oh, do I? Mm-hmm. He's down, like, 20 feet. <laughs> oh. Hold on. I can't find him on the thing. Oops. Hold on. That wasn't it. I was trying to find him on the sheet. He's number three. Yep. Oh, uh, yeah, you definitely hit him. Oh, yeah, no, he saved. saved. Yeah. That toll of the dead is not uh, treating you well. No, they keep getting high saving throws. Yeah. 
Uh, but he's just laying there, so... Um... I thought I marked that thing already. <laughs> now he's a... He's, a, he's looking a little bloody, but not nearly as bad as his friends. He was just trying to get away. Or, sorry, number three? The other two are gone, that's right. Uh, Lushu! You're up! The, on, the only thing here is that dude is unconscious, so... He's unconscious. Uh, okay, then. Uh... Oh, can I go up to here without being able to attack? I'm gonna go to Jar, um, and I guess I could attack with my short bow. Uh, you would have to use your action to draw your shot more, or you just drop your weapons. No, no, fuck that. I'm on my turn. <laughs> oh, I'll forget. I know I will. I'll forget to bring it back up. That motherfucker's unconscious. So there you go. Eva's turn. Um. How, what what would it be? Because he like fell right down yep. to wherever he's at. <laughs> um, what do I need to roll for check to get down there? Uh, acrobatics. Sounds like a fun time. All right. Um, let's do that and then where? As a bear. Yep. Yeah, as a bear. My job is very climbing. acrobatic bear. <laughs> uh, let's see. <laughs> is a dex? Uh, I would roll off of the um. The sheet, right? Yep, the bear the decks. A bear. Uh, his check. A bear. Um. Yeah, you managed to get down there. Just <laughs> kind of slipped. But uh. <laughs> to climb up, not down. <laughs> yeah, you, you made it. <laughs> All right, it's time to uh, hit this man. Man, you guys, no mercy. <laughs> No mercy no. whatsoever. No! <laughs> freaking attack us in our sleep. They deserve it. Uh, it's not letting me roll attack onto him for some reason. Oh, it, probably because the that thing's in the way. Go for it. Oh, okay. There we go. And a 20. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Jesus. Yep. <laughs> Definitely hit him. So you're going to have a bad day. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, yeah, he's, he's, a. Uh, He's super dead. Oh, he's dead. Oh wait. Uh, we didn't even need to bring out the pond. Yeah, he's he's dead. Although you oh, did okay. run into those thorns. Oh. Of uh, pancogs. Does that say everything, or how long do they stick? Um, it should just be. Let me double check. Yeah. Do, 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 do. Creature thorn. Uh, the next time you hit a creature with a red Yeah, weapon, I'm already reading it. I'm reading it. You're fine. You're fine. Um, so I don't think if you enter or leave it, it does anything. So you're fine. Um, but yeah, he he's he's a dead man. He's super dead. Yes. You uh managed to murder the uh the final werebore that was trying to flee. Goodbye, from, sir. From this area. Well done. I was not expecting you guys to go full murder mode, but you did. Um. <laughs> I guess. When don't we go full murder mode? Congratulations, you uh, took down some werebores on a complete random encounter that I was not expecting. I was actually <laughs> expecting to get to a, a next bit here. Um, it is like four in the morning for the uh, you guys right now. You just managed to shove off these werebores. Uh, Cereal, how you feeling, dude? Pretty good. <clears throat> uh, I'm asking, do you want? Do you want to end it here, or do you got, like, 30 more minutes? We got 30 more minutes, yeah. Is everyone else good for 30 more minutes? Yeah. Uh, I, I have to go to work early in the morning. Okay. Um, if everyone else is okay, are you okay with, uh, we just, uh, I RP your bit, or just play your character for a bit, Pancom? Yeah, that's fine. Okay. I don't think anything crazy significant will happen that it's particular like this. We need Pancog here, but uh, this is something that we wanted to try to get through. Um, I guess you can you can stick along. Yeah, you can stick around as long as you want until you got a dip. But if you want to dip now, that's fine. Yeah, I got to I got to dip now. I got a few little things I got to do before bed. Sounds good, my dude. Uh, I guess we'll catch you uh, next time. Yes. Have a nice night. Bye. <clears throat> All right. Uh, so you guys managed to uh, 
Oh god, now all the cameras are broken. I'll fix those uh, yeah, while we're talking. But you guys managed to take down the uh, the werebores here. Uh, how are you guys going to respond to all this stiff? I want to loot. <laughs> <laughs> I want to I'll loot. skin if I can. <laughs> I'm staying a bear. You're going to... You're gonna try. They're humans. They're they're humanoids. <laughs> Get in. I'm just gonna sleep in bear. That's fine. You're, you're you're gonna pass out in bear form. Actually, um, yeah. if you if you uh, I think a bear form only lasts like or uh, your form only lasts like eight hours. I think, right? Oh, I'm not sure. Uh, you might want to check that. Um, whoops. Uh, let's see. All right, we gotta you do these real quick. Is... No, it's in actions. Um, so, I guess Vasha, what are you and uh, Lucio doing for the the temporary <laughs> time being? It's four in the morning. But it is not. Well, I, I said for now. I said I want to loot them. You you want to loot them? Okay. Yes, I, I wish to loot them. Uh, well, that one guy, uh, he's wearing nothing significant. He has a <laughs> loincloth. He is. Uh, obvious a werebore and uh I can't give you any more take some meat you're gonna like what was, uh, maybe take some some werebore meat you're gonna chop up this dude yes yes <laughs> I, have, I have a feeling that I have a feeling that maybe if we were to offer it as some sort of like rare delicacy to someone <laughs> they could like you know we might get some so, so yeah, I'm just, I'm just thinking ahead, my dudes. Okay, I'm thinking ahead. <laughs> and yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna attempt to take some werebore meat. Um, you do realize these are people, right? right? That you're gonna be chopping up. No, not anymore. <laughs> no, they are definite then, people. Yeah, yeah, but they're dead now. So I'll but they're dead now. It's, it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> listen, listen, okay. If 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 I don't cut it up and try to sell the meat, they died for nothing. So, no. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, yeah, that's what I'm gonna attempt to do. Okay, um, to you, uh, chop up a, uh, human being. Yikes. And, uh, Hell yeah, dude. It, it, like, it's not, in, it's not in werebore form right now, like, you know that, right? They, they shift when they oh, die. You... See, I, I was unaware of that. Well, it doesn't even matter! <laughs> it's like, all of a sudden, it's like, oh, but this one is more hairy and more bristly. <laughs> Oh, okay, gross. I shall, I, shall, I shall retract my statement then. Oh, God. Okay. Um, yeah, because that would have been like a situation like, all right, we have to change your uh, your alignment to chaotic evil because that's some fucked up yeah. shit you're doing. <laughs> so she just had a bad night. Right? Yeah, yeah, just like, I just got fucked up. Just go kick him a couple times. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, sure. I guess this guy, he's dead. He's not waking up. Um, what do you guys do? Beyond that, he, he's got nothing on him. Uh, looks like he was, him and his friends were looking to just make out with a, a quick, you know, stealing of your guys' stuff. Kind of like a, a predator prey kind of thing. But once things started getting rough, they they decided to book it. Did we get an adequate amount of sleep before this happened? or? Uh, you guys got about four um, of meditate. So, yeah, I guess Zozo doesn't have a, a full sleep. Do we want to let Zozo sleep, or do we just want to, like, carry her and let her sleep on the way? <laughs> <laughs> well, you guys are- you're at the tower. You just kind of got jumped at the tower, right? But, uh, I guess- so, since it was an interrupted sleep, she would need- I, I don't even know how that works, like, how interrupted sleep works, but I guess four hours would be fine to wake up again. Uh, you will not have to roll on a random encounter chance again. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not doing it. Uh, you will not have to. Just, just <laughs> clarify. Um, so do you, what do you guys do? You just kind of rest up for four more hours? Because at yeah, least I you guys would up. get a short <laughs> rest in, right? Yeah, actually, that would be a good idea, because then I'll just go out of wild shape, but with a short rest, it comes back. Yep. So. Well, a short rest would be a long rest for the elves. Rest... Boom. There you go. And plus that gets you a, a little bit of heals. Um, okay. So, uh, you guys, uh, you know, we gotta 
the sound, the music's, the music's are different. Um, got it. Forest. Um, here you go. Let's try this one. See if this sounds cool. Um, you guys kind of. <laughs> so who's on who's on the the watch? I guess for the four hours. I will. You will. Okay. Um. Lucio meditating and all the other elves are meditating and uh, you kind of uh, are meditating there, Vasha, and uh, you kind of feel a a poke come into your your side. Poke, 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 poke. Okay, I look down and... Um, there, there, there's a big, there's a stick poking you and uh, you, you could look up and there's a very grizzled old man uh long gray beard uh whited out eyes he's he says hello hello he's poking you with his little walking cane excuse me can i help you <laughs> what are you doing here no one's supposed to be here i'm here to clean it up um, we were just trying to make our way back to the portal. Oh, the portal, you say? Yes, I know, I know. It's uh, seems to be on the fritz lately. He's still poking you. <laughs> Cookie time. <laughs> oh, it went off. Sorry, that is completely I, distracting. You're, you're fine. You <laughs> uh, he was—he he was still poking you. Yeah. Uh, he said he—he's he, a—he knows a little bit about the portal. Says I'm it's gonna, it's a bit on the fritz. I'm gonna gently grab the stick and like kind of like lower it <laughs> and <laughs> and say, "Do you know how we can use it?" Well, he kind of puts a stick back down and seems needing uh, some fix. And uh, you're able to uh, perceive that uh, he, he's blind. And he's like, uh, but uh, who are your friends here? Uh, they're just acquaintances. Ah, I see, I see. Well, you seem like a, a solid lot. And he kind of makes his way through. Uh, he, he's uh, he's making his way through. He's like, he's got this walking stick, right? But uh, And he's, he's blind. But he doesn't actually seem to be uh, needing it to find his way around. He kind of walks into the tower and notices the door is already open. And just kind of walks in and starts smacking stuff with his his cane. Uh, he, he's considering this. Uh, he's cleaning up. I am not going to question his methods. <laughs> um. <laughs> I'm gonna start um, waking up the others. Okay. Uh, I guess you go. Uh, Nudge Lushu awake and Eva. I guess, mm -hmm. yeah, the other people that are awake. So everyone kind of wakes up and they kind of acknowledge that there's a there's a new man here. There's a strange old <laughs> blind man here who is cleaning. He says he knows something about the portal, but I didn't get much information from him. <laughs> So, hmm. th yeah, this is this is you guys. I have to try to keep in mind three other players here. Um, hmm. go, yeah, go ahead. Sorry, I'm I'm thinking stuff too. So if you have I something, just go for it. <laughs> uh. Uh, you you hear. I guess I'll go up to the the guy who's like you know brusking um, and cleaning up um, and try and ask him who he is. Okay. 
Um, as you're going to walk up to the, uh, the derelict door, and uh, right before you do, you kind of hear a little a shout out from inside the area, and uh, you hear him say, "Ah, some strange jaws you brought with you, eh?" And he's, you know, bonking around some things, you know, smacking the dust off of the walls. And you ask who he is. You know, Lucia, you walk up and ask who he is. I do. I, I, I ask who you be. Ah, I, I'm the wizard Grumption. Tell me, you, you've never heard of the wizard Grumption. Uh, can't say I have, no. Ah, people these days don't know talent when they see it. He's, he's now he's just smacking some books and they're just like falling apart. Um, I asked him if he, if he, what was the name of the wizard that sent us via the portal? Eldred? Eldred, that's it. Um, I asked him if he knows Eldred. He says, oh, He's that old, that old buffoon. Myself. Of course I know Eldred. He and I are tasked with, uh, maintaining these towers. Hmm. I ask him, um, if it's up to you to maintain these towers, how did you let it get so bad? He kind of stops smacking things, and you see him kind of slump around and look over his shoulder with his <laughs> his whited out eyes and be like, Does this look like fun to you? Smacks another thing. <laughs> Goes about his business smacking more things. It's like, besides... This is all... None of this is real anyways. It doesn't matter. What do, what do you mean it's not real? He's like... You, you kind of see him perk up. He seems to be a little bit uh, interested. Says. Do you wish to know... What is real and what is not? Like, I wish you wouldn't talk in riddles. He just kind of, uh, he, he starts to smirk. He's he just waiting for an answer. Yeah. <laughs> you answer, yeah? <laughs> I was like, yeah. Okay, he goes, <laughs> great! And he grabs a chair and whoo, sits down. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, no, he's so excited about this. What have I done? And then, uh, I took my ears off. He goes, I'm going to, like, run in and, like, sit on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, everyone, all the rest of the party kind of funnels all in. Story time! Funnels all in. Around, children. And, uh, he says, Do you believe in the gods? Yes. I. Of course you do. Of course you do. <clears throat> what would you say if I were to tell you that uh, there is a there's a being even greater than the gods. Pulling the strings across the multiverse. You've piqued my interest. Well, yes. And he kind of spins over to you. Can I, can I roll an investigation check to see if there's any, like, booze bottles around that <laughs> I might have <laughs> sure. <laughs> partaken in whilst we went to Sure. Sleep? Go ahead and roll. See if you uh, see anything. Wait, would it be investigation or perception? A perception. Perception. Oh, thank God for that. I'm proficient. Let's go. <laughs> Natural 20. Nice. Guys, pissed. Uh, he seems stone cold sober. Oh, my God. <laughs> Although he might, he seems a, might be, a, albeit a bit quirky. <laughs> okay. Yo, I'm intrigued. Let's go. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hear what this guy has to say. Uh, so you say you're intrigued, and he, he kind of yes. spins around and says to, uh, to Vasha, is like, I am what you would call a child of divination. I specialize in the divination magics. However, however, I seem to have unlocked a key that no one else believes to be true. And a mere normal person would have been driven mad at the near, uh, 
the, uh, the sheer knowledge that I have gained. Would you like to hear it? Yes. All right, he's gonna... He goes on a, a tirade about, uh, how things aren't really what they are, um, how, uh, things are being controlled by a, a higher being that doesn't seem to be, uh, mentioned in anything else in the world. Uh, he's seen, um, the truth beyond the truth, uh, very conspiracy theory-esque. Uh, he, he drones on for a good 40 minutes about, uh, how things aren't truly as they seem, uh, how none of you are truly as you seem, um, and how everything is just a, a veil. Okay, great. <laughs> so about that portal. And he's like, he says, uh, Hmm. Skeptics, I see. Hmm. I'm gonna ask for proof. Oh! You'd like some proof, would you? Hmm. I see. He kind of straightens up, stands up, and uh, he walks with the, the cane in front of him. Step. 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 And he goes over to a uh, to a uh, uh, Eva, oh. and, and kind of hears down. Gets real <laughs> close. Gets real uncomfortably close. And says, uh, <sighs> "Another year around the sun. Do not think of losing it uh, as losing strength or constitution, but another, just more wisdom gained." <laughs> He kind of peers around the room. He starts walking over. Goes up to uh, Vasha and says, does the same thing, gets real close and awkward. Hmm. A union of two sorrows. Hmm. I suppose congratulations are in order. Kind of peers around again. No? He starts walking over. To Pancog. And he says, Oh. Hmm. Curious. You seem to have a demon on two worlds, huh? Hmm. I'm turning him into Yoda, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> My bad. Um, then he, uh... He heads over to, uh... Zozo, who's kind of now feeling very uncomfortable, and he has he has to bend way down because she she is small, and says, uh, "Hmm, I hope you're the best. Good things come. Hmm. You may be uh you may be going, you may leaving, or you may leave soon, but uh, pursue." What makes you happy? He kind of trots on over to Lushu. And uh, you see his uh, eyes go wide. <laughs> you dirty dog, you! And smacks you on the back a couple times. Uh, he kind of taken aback by it. And then uh, he kind of goes, goes on over to Echo, who's just... She, she, she's a little off-put, but at the same time, since, she, you know, she has the entity in her brain, she kind of, kind of empathizes with, uh, this guy. And, uh, he comes over to you, or her, and peers in and says, Hmm. Two. Two. Boy? Nah, oh, girl. Oh. No, oh, Boy! Boy. And then he, he kind of whips around. And then uh, kind of, he does a bow. And, uh, and, uh, believing that he just proved to you guys what he's been, uh, exp or trying to prove this whole time. Eva just looks very confused with narrowed eyes and just says, I don't celebrate birthdays. <laughs> <laughs> I don't <laughs> celebrate <laughs> birthdays. <laughs> I don't 
think we're gonna get any help from this guy. Oh, my audio cut out again. No. Tr 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 try to leave it to the party. <laughs> 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 trying to, trying to, trying to, you know, think about it, guys. <laughs> so, uh, do you know how we can reach your friend Eldridge? Oh, we, we need to get this up. Uh, Gang fangled portal running again. And he's smacking a thing. Uh, but, uh. I, I ask him what he means by boy. Um. He says, hmm. <clears throat> that is what is. <laughs> my, my. Yeah, when he, uh, when he was reading you guys, by the way, his, his eyes kind of flickered white and he had kind of like. Or not white, but, uh, bluish white, like flames kind of. Going around his eyes, he says, It is what is beyond the veil, and what shall be. And once again, do you have any proof of this? Ah, uh, let's see. He says, uh... What more proof can you need? Than that of my word. I am a divination wizard. I should be taken as gospel. Okay, about the portal. <laughs> um. How can we help you? Um. He's he's kind of looks over and says. What did he say? He said, "Well, it could take quite some time." To get this up and running. We need a... Uh, as you can tell... Smacks the thing. This is in quite disrepair. What would you need to fix it? Um, he's... <laughs> he's like, well, lots of wood! Lots of stone! This whole tower is, uh... In definite need of some updates! Definitely need to... Bring some magical power. It seems uh, something had dis disrupted the uh, the flow of energy here. It needs to be repaired. It could take uh, quite some weeks. Why? You got somewhere else you need to be? Eh? Eh? Come to think of it, not really. <laughs> I mean, you're just, you're just trying to make it to a... Uh... uh can't think of the word. Raska, right? Mm. So it's either a couple of weeks on foot or a couple of weeks helping out to rebuild it. Uh, from what you can tell, um, you can, uh, I guess, I guess you would have to bring that up to him, right? What, what you're asking? <clears throat> yeah, I ask him how long, um, like, Completely, does he think it'll take? I ask him, does he think it'll be faster to walk or to help him? Uh, you're to get to uh, Raska? Yeah. Um. He, oh, come on. He will, uh, he, he'll say, uh, ah, if you're, well, if you're looking to get to Raska, one month needs only to, uh, well, my foot could take you a couple of weeks. Or a few weeks, of course. I will, uh... I suppose I would, uh... Recommend maybe going to, uh... Good old Bastion Bay. Riot lot there. Only a couple days travel here, uh... Northwest. But, uh... The, the ships there should be able to take take you, uh... To, uh, where you need to go. In a much faster order than... Uh, traveling by foot. And what time is it now, did you this say? Guy. Uh, can we, uh, uh. I kinda do. I kinda I kinda do. Um so uh, I would say what time is it now in game? Uh let's see. So oh it's probably like nine or ten in the morning. <clears throat> okay then. Um I would say we start making our way to where is it Bastion Port? Uh Bastion Bay. Bastion Bay, that's it. 
Um, yeah, I suggest we start moving there, if everyone else wants to. Um, sure. Um, is that what you guys want to do? Yes. Okay. Um, I guess, uh, he will acknowledge that, uh, you're leaving and kind of, and as you guys are, you know, packing up camp and getting ready to go, uh, he kind of, see, as you're about to leave, he kind of says, hold on a minute. I have a, I have something for you. And, uh, he kind of walks over to, uh, to Echo and, uh, does a little bit of some, some hand movements and, uh, some, some parchment kind of gets, I don't know, created out of thin air and, uh, a little sparkly, like, piece of paper comes folded up and, uh, is, uh, handed over to, uh, Echo. And, uh, she kind of, you know, looks at him weird, and he says, Take care, safe journey! We'll speak again in the future. He just kind of waves you guys off and walks back to his tower and starts, you hear him banging on stuff again. That seems to be all he's really good at, besides being <laughs> crazy. Um, but Echo opens up uh, the piece of paper, and it's this. Oh, wait, can you guys not see it? <clears throat> no. Uh, I do not see it yet. Hold on. That's me. Yoink, 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 yoink. How do I do this? I always forget. Like, I share it, but it doesn't show up. There you go. You guys see it now? Oh. Yup. And that's what he, he hands you guys. The uh, baby? Yeah! Stream, stream doesn't see it, by the way. I stream doesn't it. see it? Oh, no. That's yeah. right. Hold on. Hold on. I know how to do this. That's fine. Anyway. Spoiler alert. Spoiler alert. Yep. <laughs> there you go. It's a baby. That's baby. Um, this I'll let the, uh, father talk, I guess. So there's a reason why miscreation hasn't been around recently, guys. Um, in a few more months, we have a little boy on the way. We got, Vasif was nice enough to send us a quarantine <laughs> baby onesie. Congrats, uh, um, my god. Thank you very much. So yes, we are due in February. So six and a half months. Which is why she hasn't really been able to play much. Um she's been dealing with pregnancy. Uh, <laughs> <especially> <laughs> tonight. Um so she does apologize for not being around so much. Um but you know no apologies needed. Growing, yep. growing, growing a little human is difficult. The, the original three D <laughs> so, printer. Yes, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I've never heard it put that way, but that's a good one. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I was I was trying to come up with something sooner, but time was getting uh too close to the time to do a yeah, reveal, yeah, so yeah. I had to throw something together Got real quick. Close, dude. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Got pretty close. But uh, yeah, that was a uh, that was just gonna be the, the little bit of fun little reveal that we have a, a, a player Yay. being added to the party. So congratulations to the Yes, congrats. The parents. Thank you very much. Marilyn's gonna have a, I, I will, a new I will baby. Send the congratulations over. Oh, she's excited. She's very, very <laughs> excited to be a big uh, big sister. She's looking forward to it. <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm happy for you guys. Uh give give Thank uh Miss Creation our best. I shall, I shall. And uh, I know it's getting late for you, so we'll we can uh, wrap up yes. here real That's quick. And uh, I guess next week uh, we'll we'll catch up on uh, you guys traveling to Bastion Bay, and uh, move on from there. Fantastic! You guys good? Did, guys. did you guys figure out the wizard? By the way, 
like in reality did you figure out what he was going on about i mean i knew <laughs> well, yeah you did I, I was trying to think of something that happened recently in everyone's life and that he, he knew oh. about yeah oh he's breaking the fourth wall I yeah see. He, he fourth, yeah. fourth wall breaker that's why everyone thinks he's crazy because he talks about some crazy like being that's that actually in control of everyone <laughs> but uh that was goofy. Well, I'm glad you guys had fun. NPC DM. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's an NPC DM. There you go. <laughs> Anyways, uh, my friends. Yeah, let's uh, let's go ahead and wrap it up. Thank you guys so much for playing. I uh, hope you guys have fun. We'll check Thank in. You. Congrats again, cereal. Holy shit. Thank you very much. Yeah, congrats, my dude. <laughs> have a great evening, guys. Look after yourselves. See ya. See you guys. All right. My friends over in Streamland. That was fun! Um, like I said, unfortunately, I had more ideas what to do for uh, the announcement. Also, I forgot some today. Um, I was going to have like a stork flying around and some stuff like that. I wanted to I wanted to do a whole puzzle thing uh, where they had to put some uh, letters together to figure things out. But uh, we got too, too close to things. Um, delay of stream days and uh, the Necromancer thing took... Few, a lot longer than I thought it would, so uh, we just had to pull the trigger and say, hey, we, we just got to get it out, so do what we can. But I hope you guys had fun. Um, hope you enjoyed it. Um, Mario, thank you so much for playing, my dude. Um, also, I did to give the dogs the treats for everyone that popped in. Jibby, I see that your message is here. Uh, sorry that uh, I missed it. Um, pretty, we, we get in the zone. You got to pretty much try to stay in the zone the best you can. What's going on, Lonnie? I appreciate you guys being here. I'm glad you're having fun. Uh, appreciate you guys hanging out. Um, let's see. What am I forgetting? Oh, also, um, yeah, so um, that we might be having, uh, I don't, I don't, I don't know. We'll, we'll see what happens next week, um, considering that there is going to be a new, a new one being coming into the world soon. Um, I don't know how that will affect play. Obviously, the, uh, the parents are definitely going to, they have priority with the, the new kid and uh, taking care of what their families need. So I guess we'll have to play it by ear on how things uh, work moving forward. Um, but I don't know. I hope you guys are having fun. Um, we're about to start onto a, a new fork into the game. Uh, Yuri, thank you so much for hanging out, my dude. I give uh, Jada her treat that uh, you popped in earlier. But uh, let's see. Let's, let's go. Uh, oh, my God. So many crazy things happened today that fucking... <laughs> You roll a 12, you get a hard fight. Boom, 12. Love that. Um, and then the two 20s and a 19 in a row. That was bananas. Uh, great fun, great fun. Um, but, my friends, if you would be so amazing as to stick around, let's go send some love over to our dear friend, Jem. Uh, she's streaming again. Love her. Um, let's go give her some good old quarantine love. Um, and... I don't know, we'll, we'll get a new, uh, a dice thing stream coming up again soon. Uh, seems to be a lot of people, uh, enjoyed that. <laughs> yeah, Nat loved the cookie time. Good times. Um, but yeah, everyone go get some food, go get some water, go take care of yourself. Hang out for, uh, the, uh, raid if you want and, uh, get some sweet channel points. Also give Jim some love. We love her. Um, actually might be playing a, uh, co-op game with her, uh, coming soon, which I'm excited for, but... Beyond that, I'm going to end here. Uh, I need to go get some food me too because I haven't eaten. But thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. Or us. That's... Thanks so much for hanging out with me. Hope you guys liked it. Remember to like, subscribe, comment. Helps us out a lot. Let's me know what you're liking, what you're not liking. But more importantly, remember to spay new to your pets. Adopt, don't shop. Donate to rescue if you can afford it. Or open up your house up to the possibility of fostering. That is a very rewarding experience and helps those animals and rescues out. They're very much in need. Anyway, I'm Vasif. We are Quarantine. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. Us. And we'll catch you guys next time. See ya. Yeah, duh, you hungry. You hungry? Wait, it's not dinner time. Hold on.